Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. And I'm Nova. And welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. When we last left off, Zelda was kidnapped. Again. Like we didn't see that coming. This time, <laughs> we're looking at how old Link's boots are the same boots as this Link's boots. And he had one inch feet just like Link does. Also, it's hollow. It is. I never noticed that before. Anyway, this time we're going to be heading out the back door of the castle, breaking the barrier with the Master Sword. Nova's in this in control this episode. Yay! Though not for, for very long. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take control in a little bit because there's something I want to do. It's also important to note that there's no story stuff. Or, sorry, there's no side quest stuff that we have Yay! to do. Yay! Though there will be soon. <laughs> Sorry, I was just making her say yay and then all, and it was kind of fun. <laughs> also, Link took off his mask. Oh, he did. Which makes me think that in the final cutscenes, the mask will be removed. To me, it looked like he didn't even touch the barrier with yeah, the sword. Yeah, he just kind of swung it and was like, Feel my Master Sword Wrath, dog. And somehow he didn't get cut by the 10-inch... Or sorry, ten foot pieces of glass. Okay, uh, now that that's done, I'm gonna take the controls for a while. Not not for that long. Don't worry, I'm not just gonna hijack her episode. I just Are you need sure? to do this and this. Okay. What I want to do is first of all switch over to the ice arrow. Maybe some of you can see what's coming. Okay. Uh, that is what I want. Hopefully, I can I can pull it off, guys. Okay. Where is he? He's way over there. Okay. I have to c clear the area of enemies. Where's the choo-choo? I know there's a choo-choo somewhere around here. Not a blue one, but... I think there are two on the path ahead. Okay, I'll kill them. And then... Okay, there they are. Really? That doesn't kill them? It's been so long since we fought red choo-choos. Ow. Okay. Die. It's time. It is time. There's only one. Oh, there's two. Okay. So I have two shots at this. Do you know what I'm doing, Nova, now? No clue. Okay. Uh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't alert your friend. Please don't alert your friend. Get a little bit closer. Okay. Come here. Come here. Over here. Over here. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Don't. I'm the candy man. I'm the candy man. Come get some candy. Freeze! And wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, come on. Throw! Pick up! No, that's the wrong way! That's the wrong way! Whoa. No! That's the wrong way! I don't want to go this way. No, buddy. Buddy. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to pick you up again. There Whoa. we go. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Ah, uh, you don't, don't kill my best friend. Okay, you. I need you. That's not the... That's the right way. Da 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 Oh, sorry. I, I had a song prepared Whoa. for this. I am in the forest walking around, but my Fragino cannot be found. I've been looking up, and I've been looking down! But there's no sign of that big blue clown. He was once a doll, but now he lives! Life out of nowhere, so hey, what gifts? Uh, I need to run this way. There we go. Okay, oh, okay, so okay. Close. Come on, come on. Get up, get up there, get up there. Hey, buddy. Was it worth it, Nova? Yes. Was it worth it? So totally worth. I was in the forest. <laughs> I'm a little bitter. Yes, it may seem, how but far, rather than the scream. How far uh, can you go away from the to path? find him. Now I can tell whether I'm going to get my revenge or will I help him out. Stand on that little wall over there. Uh, I need to be careful because as people who have watched this channel before and seen when I pull off glitches, there are places where the model, I'm sorry, the, uh, the hitboxes will stop and I will fall off into an abyss. But is this worth it, Nova? Yeah, Are you worth. glad you trusted me? Also, that was the funniest glitch I think I've ever pulled off in my life. 
That moblin was dancing on your head. <laughs> I was flying everywhere. Also, I'm really glad that I've never been able to pull the glitch off. That's the first time I've been able to do this glitch. And finally, I am in Hyrule Field. Do you remember last episode, guys, when I was like, guys, I'm going to fall down. When I was like, the, pretty soon we're going to be exploring more of Hyrule. This is what I was alluding to. And now I'm done. Nova, would you like the controls now? Yes, please. There you go. Thank you. Are you really glad you trust me? Okay. Well, actually, I didn't really trust you. You kind of gave me no choice. <laughs> Backstory to that glitch, which I'm still laughing from. Uh, before the episode began, I asked Nova, can I get control uh, for a brief snip do when the episode begins? She's like, no, it's my episode. I'm like, no, I want I want control for a brief snip do She says, no, it's my episode. I was like, you're going to have to trust me. I've been planning this for a long time. She's like, fine. So <laughs> Nova almost didn't make that happen. <laughs> that was so funny. And I feel like it should be a sport. Um, Moblin? What would it be called? It needs, a, it needs an alliterated name. Moblin mashing? No. Moblin gliding? Moblin skating? I don't know. But I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to the video that I found that it didn't explain it but showed how to do it. And it's actually surprisingly easy. All you have to do is let, uh, throw the Moblin about a second after he breaks free of the ice, and then you can pick him up any time after that, and it it works perfectly. The only reason why you need to stun him with the boomerang is to actually is just to have him sit still. It's a really easy glitch. Okay, that was fun, but now we're on to more pressing things. Really? How did that miss? It didn't miss. It came back when I took out the hook shot. Oh. There we go. I don't know. Something about this, even when I first played Wind Waker, and once again, Wind Waker is my first 3D game, something about this scene reminded me of something, and it still gives me a sense of deja vu that I can't put my finger on. After all these years, you haven't figured out what it is? I mean, later, I was like, oh my goodness, guys, this is, uh, this is Elden Bridge. But then I was like, no, because... Still not it. Yeah, that's not it. I well, also haven't played the game yet. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the room that the Fellowship first enters when they go into Moria. Oh my god, yeah, it does. I mean, there are even skulls. Yeah, wow, okay. Uh, now, where where go? Go through door? Door go. Through. Nova. <laughs> now... Just as a reminder, first of all, Swirly, Ganon's Tower, Swirly. But second of all, we cannot have Tingle in here. So last nope. last episode is the last time we can have Tingle for the rest of the story. Now there um, is an after game, which I'm I've been alluding to a little which bit. Which you kind of invented. <laughs> there's that's a term. After game is a term. No, I mean there's not really an after game you just made it up yeah so. that, that's true that yeah. part's true we're going to be going to all the islands that we haven't gone to before or ones that we just passed by didn't elaborate on so basically just kind of giving me some moral clarity since we've been completing um, glitches along the way there won't be much of a glitch video which one should I do first uh, I give you freedom to pick and as you do once you do that I will one. explain what we're doing so in Ganon's tower there's a final trial, as it were, before we're led to the final, final trial. And this final trial is almost a retelling of every dungeon we've been in thus far. And it even has, well, it even has the boss fights. Which is neat. It's like a short little trial to get to the boss, and then the boss. This is not the first time this was done, however. Uh, it's... Ogreen of Time did it. But I, f I find this to be a little bit cooler. It's just a cooler way, in my opinion. Would you agree? Yeah. It's just, I don't know. It's more satisfying to me. Also, did I hear Pose? I think I heard Pose. No, they're Bubbles. Oh, yeah, Bubbles. That's what they're called. Where are they? Are they on top of those those poles? Uh, can I do... I'm thinking what you can do is let go and then Deku Leaf to it. Yeah. Oh, they're disappearing. Backwards. Come on. Now the platforms disappear shortly after you you jump on them, so you have to be you have to be very timely. Mm -hmm. What what's a word for being on time? 
Uh, punctual? Punctual, thank you. You have to be very punctual with that. <sighs> At least they aren't uh, blue bubbles. Okay, th this part's cool though. It gradually, it gradually turns into black and white, and there's an awesome, an awesome trippy remix of each boss theme. And it's in black and white, but we're not in black and white. And you can only use the items that you had at that point in the game. Yes. Now, granted, you do have your master sword, so these battles are going to be quicker. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you need to. Wrong phase of the battle. Also, you did this battle last time. Now that I remember. Did I? Yes. So, let's see how this this turns out, because last time, you had some serious difficulties with this fight. I did. It was kind of sad. Yeah, you won't be able to do that. Lined up. That's fine. <sighs> so, you, you're already doing better than your first, your first run through of this battle. Yep. So, you're just going to line it up and did dip the... Did you notice the meter at the bottom? Ready. Oh yeah, we have a we have a health meter now. Thank we, you for pointing that out. You know what that means? We've never used the mask in a boss battle before. No, I think we have. No. Really? Yep. Are you sure it just hasn't been a long time and we're just not remembering? I'm sure. Wow. Okay. So yeah, the the mask is pretty useful. I mean, having health bar, health bar doesn't necessarily matter matter because, because pretty much every boss in this game uh, has three rounds of whatever no, it is that's, to that's kill them. No, that's the rule of video gaming. There's always three phases. No, not always. Almost always. I mean, you play the Spyro games, so I can see where you'd get confused on the phases of battles, because usually there are like two in Spyro games. But that's something I should cover on the channel, Spyro game. Ooh. And second phase. This one will go a lot quicker now that we can actually, or Nova can hit it with the Master Sword. Also, did they really have to give us hearts? No. They're just being nice. Okay, so watch out. Wow, the I didn't realize the the grappling hook did damage. Do you see that? Actually, Nova, kill oh, the grappling did. hook, please. <laughs> wow. That is the second boss we've killed this game with the grappling hook. The first one was the Helmarok King. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm very proud of that. And you know what? Hmm. This was reused in Link Between Worlds. This whole go through different rooms which are reminis reminiscent of, of dungeons. Link Between Worlds did it too. That's a g good game. I... I feel like I need time to to play other Zelda games like like this, for example, and then play go back to Link Between Worlds to decide on how much I like it. But it's definitely I would say it's top five, maybe. Let's see, top five would be Skyward Sword and Majora's Mask are close. I'm saying Majora's Mask beats out Skyward Sword, even though I've never played it. Uh, next would be Twilight Princess, and then. Spirit Tracks, so we have four games, and I'm not sure, does th does this beat out Link Between Worlds? I say yeah, I, I would say it does. So obviously we are in the Forest Haven dungeon right now, and kudos on Nova for actually using the camera to, to position where she's shooting. <laughs> not enough people do that. And what was it that these things were called? Miranda's? Gondola? Or gondola, thank you. Which sounds like a medication. With with the tagline of Gondola. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Growing these on the side of your face are a side of is a side effect of this medication. <gasps> oh snap. Gr you can get on! You can get on! No, I can't! No! We found Gregory's pot. Do you? Oh my word. <laughs> okay. Do you mind if I use this blue potion? No. Uh, yes, I do. Fine. Try to manage without it. I don't think you need it. I think you're good, Nova. Now, granted, I could just warp. We can just warp out later for the uh, 
for more blue potion. In fact, I'm probably going to do that instead of fairies, because I don't like fairies. I only like fairies when they replenish all of your hearts. I don't like them at all. Like, no matter what iteration they're in, I don't like fairies, which I... Have I mentioned that before on the, in the LP, in an episode? No, you have not. Okay, I have an extreme, and I mean very extreme, distaste for fairies in... That was close. In all Zelda games. Every single, every single one. Because they're broken. Are they? Yes. Think about it. You have four bottles, and in some Zelda games, like Toilet Princess, you have five bottles f with fairies. That's five extra lives. Especially in Zelda games where they're already not that difficult. I mean, think about it. Zelda games, there are only a couple that I would say are genuinely hard, and they're the earlier ones. Watch out for the Piat. Oh, good job. <sighs> and when you can have five extra lives in an already easy game, that's just not... That's just not fun. Because you, there's no risk. There's no danger in doing anything. Now... It would be bad. They tried to balance it in later games by saying, hey, fairies can only restore eight hearts. I'm like, cool. Still doesn't matter. You can go ahead. Yeah. Um, what I would say they should do in a Zelda game mm -hmm. is if you die and you, ha um, and you have fairies, every single fairy in your bottles will be um, utilized. Hmm. They will each heal for eight hearts, but they will only it, this will only happen once. So you can only essentially have one extra life. That's, That's what I say they should do. I would be fine with fairies at that point. Now, I would also be fine with fairies if Zelda games were harder. Speaking of hard Zelda games, when I first did uh, Skyward Sword, when I was planning on what my first Let's Play would be, I thought about doing a five-heart run. Yeah. I've never done a three-heart run of a Zelda game. Have you? Yeah, so it's something I've never done, and Scarred Sword would be fine for a five-heart run. I also thought of a five-heart hero mode run. Ooh, man. Yeah, because uh, Demise, for example, would would insta-kill you. He would. He he would. I mean, even when he used, he used charged up that Skyward Strike, if you just hit his sword, you die. Also, isn't it true that they actually that the the green Bakoblins block with their shields. Sometimes they do. I, th it, I just think it's very rare. So arrows can get stuck on their shields, but they don't use them ever. But yeah, that's that's my rant on fairies. I just don't like them. I guess I guess a better a better pet peeve of mine would be the ease of Zelda games. You obviously haven't played either the of the Oracle games, then. Have you completed both of them? Uh, no. I'm currently stuck on Oracle of Seasons. Because a boss. There's a there's a gauntlet before the final boss. Oh. And it is brutal. Okay, go ahead and run through here. You know what would be useful in this circumstance? Pegasus boots? No. Moblin boots. <laughs> That's way faster than Pegasus boots, believe me. I, I'm not so sure about that. Do you remember that one time when I tried that? Yeah, I do. Like it was today, <laughs> in fact. <laughs> do you know where I was when I became a Super Saiyan? Yeah, Dad, I was there. I was on Namek, and Freezer just killed my best friend, and Piccolo tripped or something, and he threat and then Freezer threatened to do that to my son. Oh, you were there. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> Fairy. Also, fairies are sad in this game. They are. Because I wish they were just the little orbs of light. Yeah, those are my favorite fairies. They just... I don't know. They're pretty. They do have character, especially especially in Majora's Mask. Yeah. I mean, when when I first saw that game played, I, I was astounded by how much emotion they gave a, a blob. You know? No. They're orbs of light. Okay, they're or, not blobs. An or... Uh, purple and yellow orange, not, not orange, a blob of light that's colored. That's, yeah. It, it was impressive how much emotion they gave the uh, tattle and tail. Can't wait to play that game. Okay, so Nova's, Nova, first of all, I'm proud of you for not stopping and waiting for me to be done talking before progressing. Mm. 
Because mm -hmm. you do that sometimes. I'm yeah, like, because there's something I have to do or say before I leave. It's true, and but... And you won't be quiet. <laughs> you could interrupt me. Ugh. See, what Nova doesn't get is that if I didn't Ugh. talk, these episodes wouldn't have commentary. Would that necessarily be a bad thing? Yes, because no one likes watching commentaryless videos. What are you doing? Actually, I look those up on purpose, usually. Oh, that's what you're doing, okay. Oh, I have to go over there No, first. no, it, well, actually, that's not a bad idea. You're luring them over there so you don't have to run as far. It's a good idea. Props to you. I wasn't doing that on purpose. <laughs> also, you skidded there. You, like, did a little <laughs> guitar slide. I don't know. Blue, purple choo-choo's are fun. I guess. And I like their design, too. I mean, yes, they're just... They're basically... What is it? Uh, oh, what is it called? Not Is it Wobbuffet? It is Wobbuffet. From Pokemon. There's something I must do before I go. Oh, no. You just... The stairs are, back, are gone. <sighs> but, uh... Yeah, Wobbuffet. They're... They're real. They are Wobbuffet. Wow. I can't unsee that. What are you doing, though? You'll see. Okay. Is it as cool as the Moblin Glide? No. Okay. You realize you don't have much time, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Seriously? Really? <gasps> really? Oh. They did. They, they, they just pull that on you. They did. That is mean. That is really mean, especially because there's a cutscene for it. That's the worst part. So you get to watch the guy sprout out of the earth, and the stairs go back up at the same time. I mean, first of all, that's clever, but also, really, guys? Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh, there it's he is. stuck on a wall. Come here. You don't have time, Nova. <laughs> well, actually, you may have time to do a, a jump attack on those two before you leave. Also, I appreciate the Ace Ventura reference. You're welcome. <laughs> of course. How selfish of me. We always have to do what you want to do. Did you see that? Swag. Wait, wait. Pots? No, okay. That I still get it. I still get enjoyment out of how it transitions to black and white. Mhm. Mm and the trippy remixes. There isn't enough. Okay, this is this is a weird topic. There is not enough black and white in video games. Why is it that they always? I mean. <laughs> get away from me. You could argue. Well, Skyrim and Fallout 4 are black and white. No, that it's not intentional. But uh, why why don't they do that more? It's a cool fact. You have to kneel. You have to kneel be- That's interesting. You have to kneel before him before he kneels before you. There's probably a metaphor in there. But I don't really care. Good job. <laughs> Good job with the Bulosis battle. I like how they'll stop you if you start to do too well. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can do that, sorry. Do you see that? A skull just fell from the sky. Wind. Uh -oh. I mean, if that thing fell from the ceiling right there. Good job. Also, it, do it does show the health bar for these, which is cool. Per post slain as well. Good touch. Also, did they not think that people would not would notice that this is the Bulasis battle? I don't know. Because it's the Bulasis battle. Well, this mechanic is used in a lot of games. I'm pretty sure it was in Four Swords at some point, and yeah. it's been in one of the Oracle games, I'm pretty sure. Well, Jahala was in Four Swords, but he did not under operate Oops. under this mechanic. He operated oh, snap. He operated under... Oh, what, what did he do in that? Uh, he would suck you into his belly. Weren't there torches involved? Oh, goodness. And you had to light them? Yes. Yes, that's right. There were two Jalhalla battles in that game. Which is cool that he actually was kind of a... He was a minor, major antagonist for in that title. 
Could this be it? Yes, it is. Good job. Whew. Speaking of Four Swords, that game is impossible to let's play. Unfortunately. You, as far as I recall, you need uh, four game cubes, a Wii, and four capture cards to be able to record that game. Ooh. And it's nearly impossible. Let's see. Let's look at time real quick. Uh, how are we on time? We will be able. We'll be able to pull this one off. Yeah, I think you. If you. If you give it some hustle, you should be able to do this. Let's see. This is the Mulgara dungeon. Mhm. Mm uh, if I recall, this one's interesting. Oh. Yeah, it's this one. This one's. This one's inter very cool. To that be totally honest, this was my least favorite dungeon in the game. Really? Yeah. How come? Well, I didn't like the Diggly. big... Oh, yeah. I didn't like the big column that you had to constantly go up and down. And the hook shot isn't exactly my favorite item. At least not in this game. Bow is, right? Yes. In, in all Zelda games. Yes. Y you going to launch? You need to launch and then fly between the two pillars. Between them? Yes, between them. Quickly. Between them. Nice. Oh, I thought I had to turn them off. Yeah. Watch uh, this. Oh. I watched it. How do you get up there? Hold on. Just a second. I think you did it wrong. I think you need more height. Yeah, you, you need to get a little bit more height th off that. Let me get rid of this joker first. No, but that's not the joker. That's a bird man. A toucan man. Oh, a uh, hook shot? Up huh? There. Oh, okay. So, wait, wait, wait. You're not going to get this reference because it's very obscure. So, if he's toucan man, and he's an enemy, does that make him attacking toucans? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's I a, don't get it. There's a YouTuber named Attacking Toucan. I don't watch him. He he comes oh. up, he's, he has okay stuff. I'm just not I'm not really a big fan of his style. Ma pro you guys could probably guess why. Also, do we have all items at this point? Yes, we do. Yeah. Because because the next item would have been the mirror shield, so. Now here's my question. Nova. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Like, where... Okay, there he is. Here's my question. If you didn't have the magic armor when you fought him, and then you got it after you fought him, and then fought him here, would you not have the magic armor? Mm, I think you... Well, I think you would because it's not an item you get in a dungeon. Okay. So... There would be no sense in taking it away from us. Also, it's it is kind of sad. Well, it's it's cool and and nice that they added this and let you let you do this. That you're able to defeat the bosses so much easier. It makes sense. Yeah, it does, and it shows some progression. That's one problem I don't I have. Man, I I critique this game so much, and it's it almost sounds like I don't like it, but I really do. But anyway, as I was as I was making fun of the game, um, what I I like how as you refine the master sword, it means something. You get more powerful. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the range of the master sword is also increased. Someone could check me on that. And but the thing I don't like is that when you get the triforce of courage, it doesn't mean anything, and it never does. Yeah, it. Pretty much just a key to get you further, but yeah, it's a boss key. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a boss key to Ganon. And uh, I mean, and here, and the uh, the problem is, is that what would they do? What power boost would they give you? Halving all damage? That's been done before, and it's it makes the game even easier than it already is. Or doubling all damage? Same well, same thing. Um. Lore-wise, they've stated that the Triforce of Courage is what enables Link to be so good at instantly every weapon. with every weapon that he has. He doesn't need to practice at it. So, so what they could do, and what would be neat, is as soon as he gets the Triforce of Courage in a game, it would happen a little bit early on, maybe halfway through, 
uh, it, he would gain a new ability for every single item. Like maybe shooting arrows really fast or two arrows at yes. a time. Stuff like that. Like um, the great fairy power-ups in Four Swords. Yes. In, alongside of being able to upgrade items. Okay, uh, let's see. Will there be a cutscene? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Oops. Oh, here we are. Okay, let's see. How? I think we're ex ex excess on time. Yeah, we are. Let's go ahead. And, you know what? Uh, we will go up this stairway next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I've, I have seemed to say this the past 10 episodes, but the game's winding down at episode 40. I'm guessing we have two, maybe three episodes left. Yeah. Before the after game, in which case we'll have some more. So, Nova and I will see you guys next time on, on a Tuesday or Friday. See you guys then. See ya.